baby, that's how you keep a conversation flowing. What you want? What What, what do you want us to just sit there? So when you have a conversation with somebody, you the you, they speak, then you speak. You might tell them how you relate to that. Maybe you might tell them how you don't relate to that. That's that's what that is. That's very normal. So it's just irritating. It's very irritating, and then it's like I'm not about to start. Like, every time we film this show, I'm not going to be in the back of my head like, oh, don't bring nothing back to you. Don't bring nothing back to yourself because the, the, um, the damn, whatever, viewers don't like that. I need y'all to understand something. Behind the likes, that's my shit. Period. Point blank. That's my shit and that's shy shit. And if we want to sit up there and talk about ourselves for an hour straight, then that is exactly what we will do period if you don't like it don't watch it it's not going to change that is how you relate to people that is how you talk to guests okay we've never had a problem with a guest saying that we make them feel uncomfortable we actually hear all the time you you guys make us feel so comfortable like please bffr that's how you make people feel comfortable that's how you relate to people and with the episode with t me and t do relate on a lot of stuff so of course we're going to talk about that. We've never talked about that before. And in the episode with Jaden that's ep um dropping next week, yep. We're going to be talking about myself again too. Cuz that's what you do when you start when you're talking to somebody Having a conversation for a real conversation for the first time, something that I have said might be a repeated thing to you, but new to somebody else. And my experiences may help somebody else with their experiences. So, oh well, get over it. So I'm saying, I get what you're saying, but as viewers, sometimes constructive criticism isn't meant to be negative, just like these are our thoughts. But great episode, I mean, it's engaging. Okay, but here's the thing. We're not asking for your, your, um, what is it called? Constructive criticism. When we ask you for constructive criticism, that is when you can, you should be, feel free to give it. I don't ask y'all for your opinions. I say this on live all the time. Every time I go on live, I'm doing my makeup, my hair, somebody be like, oh, you need to fix your right eyebrow. Didn't ask. Did not ask. Y'all are, sometimes y'all tell me, I need to quit bringing things back to myself, but sometimes y'all need to mind your goddamn business. Quit giving people constructive criticism that nobody asked for, it. unsolicited advice. Nobody wants to hear that shit, honestly. Nobody wants to hear it. Especially, we work hella hard on our show. Hella hard. We work hella hard on our freaking podcast. We bust our ass, literally. And no, we're not perfect and we're not gonna be perfect. So get over it. And that's really is like damn near the same thing. Stop bringing everything back to you. Blah, blah, blah. Or y'all need to quit talking over each other. Or da, da, da. Or it feels like this. Or blah, blah, blah. Like be, being somebody who gives out unsolicited advice is a lot more annoying than all of that shit. Letting you know. Since y'all want to give me some advice, there's some advice for you. Quit being irritating. Or you're getting blocked. Period. It's that simple. So next time you bitches get on my shit. Call some sushi helipad. Me and Shai just got our nails done. I'm waiting for her to come in the car. And then also some people were saying like, oh, I feel winter was being shady to tea. I swear to God, that was not true. I think it's because of the reel we used did seem shady, but it just wasn't like, it was just like a intense moment that we decided to use as the reel. But 
me and me, T, Shy, and Heather are, are literally all going into business together. Like, there's not even any room for that. If you guys didn't finish the end of the podcast, me, Shy, T, and Heather are doing a live streaming show on Thursdays starting in January. And it's called The Girls Room Live. So, you know. The Girls Room Live. Lash map, I get 10s to 18s. I'm pretty sure. 10s or 12s to 18s. Somebody said Natalie brought you up again. I don't doubt it because I just was on a FaceTime call with her the other day. Very randomly drunk out. Ran into that girl DJ Sky and had a conversation with her. And I guess Natalie FaceTimed her while I was talking. So I took her phone and I answered it. And I was in the phone like this. Loser! Loser! <laughs> just so unserious all the time. It's just hilarious. I feel like... You know, like, um, Family Guy, when he, like, had beef with that rooster forever, and the rooster would pop up, and they would, like, fight each other to the death. I feel like she's my rooster. But it was actually hilarious, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm literally, we're both hella grown, and we're the phone, like, loser, loser. Uh, it was hella funny, bro. Say that you love me, but you don't. Me and Shaw were listening to all the um, breakup songs yesterday. Yes, DJ Scott, I met her, had a conversation with her. Um, and you know what? She's actually pretty cool. She was sweet. I was drunk when I spoke to her, but we spoke. We had a conversation because I've said something about her on um, live before. And we were at the same party. Like, the lights was on. Like, it was like an after party for the um, Travis Scott show. And I was like, let's just talk about it, bitch, because I keep seeing you look over here. So I just went up to her and I'm like, hey, let's chat. So we did. She was cool. It's not like going to be, we're not going to be like friends or anything, but she was cool. Somebody said, who's going through a breakup? I'm not. Somebody said. Your baby ignoring. I don't know what that means. I'm trying to figure out if the boy who just commented, the J.I. boy, is that boy from New York who does that music. If so, you be cracking me up. Hey, I'm on live, by the way. Uh, you pay for your own pedicure? I paid for both of ours. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, go in there and tell them something. Thank you for paying, by the way. What that do you mean? took an hour and 30 minutes for my pedicure. No, I paid for both of ours, and I tipped them $20. <laughs> yeah. Not they trying to get over. Hold on, let's go ahead. Hold on, y'all.